How do you update a live heavy traffic site with zero downtime? So, update a live heavy traffic site with zero downtime requires careful planning and execution to ensure continuous service availability. Let's talk about some strategies and best practices to achieve zero downtime during updates. The first, let's delete everything here. We have what we can call uh, a green, a blue green deployment. Blue green deployment is a deployment strategy where all, where two identical environments, referred to as blue and green, are used. One environment server servers live uh, production traffic, while the other is used for staging the new release. Let's talk about how it works. First, we have the setup. In this one, duplicate the production environment, which is blue, to create a second environment, which is green. The second one, we have deploy. We deploy the new version of the application to the green environment. And the third is switch traffic. Once the new version is fully tested and um, verified in the green environment, switch the user traffic from blue to green. And number four, which is rollback, in case of issues, switch back to blue environment as well. And um, let's talk about the second approach as well. The second approach, we call it a roll, uh, rolling deployment. Rolling deployment gradually updates the instances of the application in phases without taking the entire application offline. The first we have um, nice. incremental updates. This updates a few instances at a time, monitoring each for stability and performance before pros um, uh, proceeding the next patch. Number two, we do health checks. Ensure each update instance have, uh, passes health checks before moving to the next batch. And number three, we have a uh, load balancer. Use a load balancer to manage traffic, directing uh, it away from instances being updated. Um, number three, we have what we can call the canary deployment. Uh, canary deployment involves uh, releasing the new version to a small subset of users before a full rollout. Uh, number one, we have subset release. Um, deploy the new version to small controlled set of servers that handle a fraction to traffic. Number two, we have monitor and validate. Um, we monitor the performance and error rates of the new version. And number three, we have gradual rollout. Gradual increase the number of servers running the new version until all servers are updated. Uh, number four, we have feature toggles. Feature toggles allow new features to be deployed in a disabled state and then enable, enabled gradually. Um, number one, we have what we can call deploy with toggles off. Uh, deploy the new code with features co uh, toggled off, basically. And number two, we have um, gradual in um, in implement in implement. Okay, uh, this one we enable feature for small subset of users and gradually increase. And number three, we have instant rollback. Um. 
The fifth thing, or the fifth strategy as well that we need to talk about, which will be database schema changes. Database schema uh, changes can be major challenging during live updates. To handle them smoothly, we have uh, to do some things or some steps. The first thing is that we do what we can call a backward compatible changes. Um, we ensure schema changes are back, uh, backward compatible. For example, adding new clones without removing old ones. Number two, we have two phase deployment. Um, we have phase one, which is deploy schema changes that are compatible with both old and new versions. And um, phase two, which is after application updates, review all schema elements. And now I have number three, online migrations. Use online schema migration tools like online schema changes for MySQL, for example, that apply changes without locking, uh, locking tables. Let's talk about load balancer and traffic management as well. So here we have um, the first thing that we want to talk about, which will be the graceful uh, degradation. Uh, configuration, configure the load balancer to take instances out of rotation gracefully, allowing them to finish processing ongoing requests. We have um, session persistence um, ensure session persistence sticky sessions to avoid session loss during the switch um, we have health checks I guess I said health checks too many times uh, yeah it's one of the key results to solve this problem continuously monitor uh, the health of application instances and direct traffic only to healthy instances and number seven, we have the automation and the CI/CD pipeline, which is lost. Here we have uh, automated tests. Um, use automated testing in CI/CD pipeline to ensure new release pass all tests before deployment. We have automated rollout. Um, automate, it, automate the deployment process to reduce the risk of human error and ensure consistency. And uh, we have rollout mechanisms. So implement automated rollout, uh, rollback mechanisms to quickly uh, revert to the previous stable version if an issue are detected. The issues are detected. Let's talk about the example uh, workflow. So first we have to prepare. Uh, in this one, we develop and test the new version in the staging in a staging environment identical to production. Second, we deploy. Um, use blue green or canary deployment strategies to deploy the new version. Number three, we monitor uh, monitor the deployment closely using application performance monitoring uh, tools. Number four, we adjust. Um, if issues arise, quickly adjust by rolling back or switching traffic. And number five, we finalize. So once the new version is stable and all traffic is directed uh, to, to it, basically, de um, decommission the old version. So in conclusion, updating a live, a live high traffic site with zero downtime it's as achievable through uh, through careful planning use of deployment strategies like like uh, like uh, like a blue green or canary deployment and leveraging automation and monitoring tools these techniques ensures ensure that updates are rolled out smoothly with minimal description of users and provide mechanisms for quick rollback in case of issues so that's it for today's video and see you in the future.